How's it going, gatherers? It's Kelly, the Flicker Guy. I'm here to tell you about some more information from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Oh, am I excited. It's heating up. We are getting there. We are going to get some info. And we've already been getting leaks already. So I just wanted today to just kind of step in before the real reveal comes tomorrow and just talk a little bit about Kamigawa Neon Dynasty and the stuff that they've shown so far. And to start off is, I normally don't try to talk about the leaks or whatever. I don't really want to go in into spoiling stuff for people, but there is the Commander deck leaks, and I kind of want to just hit on a point on those just for a quick second so you can see what these things are. Uh, first, I wanted to talk about the, um, the blue-white Commander deck because clearly it has to be real because they literally have the packaging. So if that's fake... Hey, <laughs> good on them. But um, the one big one I saw from there is that Pilot Katori, the Pilot Prodigy. Oh my gosh, she's one one colors, a white and a blue, a two four Moonfolk Pilot. Now I hear that there's gonna be a Fox Pilot too. So you already know those memes gonna come out Star Fox all day. But getting back to Katori, the Pilot Prodigy, she um, vehicles she can uh, you control have crew too. So she literally can crew anything that's a vehicle as long as she's on the field honestly she teaches other people to crew stuff as well so that's crazy at the beginning of the combat your turn target artifact creature you control gains lifelink and vigilance until the end of turn so that's pretty dope um that she could do that i should have the picture here or whatnot so you can see it but <laughs> that is that is so hype we get into the whole Gundam aspect thing. So hopefully when we do see the true reveals, we'll get some kind of Gundam. I mean, the her her friend slash sentient uh, vehicle, which is Sori Kai Genius Engine, is also going to be in her commander deck as a, as a second commander. It's our first legendary vehicle artifact. Because um, at the end of the, the bottom of the text, it says that uh, Sori Kai can be your commander. So that's dope. It's an 8-8 uh two colors white and blue um legendary artifact vehicle you basically pay one tap it draw two cards then discard a card create a one one colorless pilot creature token with this creature uh this creature can crew vehicles as though the power were uh two greater so literally these one ones these special tokens actually crew for three so that's kind of cool it basically can crew itself so if you want to use them as your commander you're good but the big secret is him and katori are down and cool, so she piling him for two. That's the secret. That thing can punch hard, slap people out. So that's gonna be an awesome commander deck. I think the pre-con itself is gonna be really good. Uh, just to move on, so we're not hitting on this for too long. Uh, the other deck that we saw was a snake samurai. I'm not a fan of snake samurais. Well, I'm a fan of samurai. I'm not a fan of snakes. Um, and with that being the case, I might not be playing with this deck, but. Check this bad boy out. Um, it's two uh, colors and gruel. Um, it's a 4-4 legendary um, samurai snake. And whenever an aura or equipment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 red spirit creature token with menace. At the beginning of your end step, put a plus one plus one counter on each modified creature you control. And now this also gives us a definition of modified. Uh, modified is an equipment aura you control and counters um, are considered modifications. So almost like the historic setup where they kind of had a grouping of different cards, this modifies things that have counters, um, equipments, and R's on it. So it's specifically R's. So that, that definitely is a key factor of that. So as we explore that commander deck, we're going to kind of open up that definition and see what that means too. Um, so pretty cool card. Um, like I said, not really my style, but if you want to Voltron some things, um, yeah, it's a Voltron go wide kind of deck and you can really go in on it. Uh, and then the, the secondary card in that one is Kama, the Fractured uh, Calm. At the beginning of your end step, go each creature that opponent control that's enchanted by an R you control. Put a plus one plus one counter on Kama, the Fractured Calm for each creature goaded this way. Um, he's a 3-3. Three, three. So a nice way to basically make your opponents fight each other. So it's it's unique in the way that is gruel and this is a spirit i'm pretty sure there'll be other things that can combine with that but we've been seeing a lot of golden and red lately just kind of hitting the field so i mean you probably can do some cool stuff with the golden mechanics and just keep people fighting each other and leaving you alone so that's kind of from that deck or whatever um so 
those are two interesting commander decks, kind of like looking like the play style is totally different from what we're going to get from the main set, which is really cool. It just opens up the world of Kamigawa and just shows us a different side of what was going to be there. So awesomely interested in all of those. Dope. Big other leak today. Um, just kind of going over the story and stuff. The Phyrexian Jenga Taxes. Oh, the only reason I'm talking about this card is because if this is real, because the card they showed us, this leak card is in Phyrexian, um, it's going to be OP. And it's going to be a number one chase card, um, probably for this set, even from Standard, Modern, and Commander, I would imagine, because... Yeah, <laughs> this this card is. Let me read it out to you, um, cause it makes no sense. It's a it's a uh, five colors and two blue. Um, it's a five five creature. Um, it has uh, whenever you cast an artifact, instant or sorcery spell, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for this copy. Whenever an opponent casts an artifact, instant, or sorcery spell for the first time each turn, counter that spell. So, all of this, uh, the details for this card, because it's in Phyrexian, nobody really knows what the true definition is. But considering that you're countering the first uh, spell that comes at you, um, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be a problem. Um, so, we're still waiting on that one. I just kind of wanted to say that uh, Jenga Taxes is here. And is there. Um, I don't want to go into super details on it. It's just going to be a nasty card. And we'll wait for the official reveal to really go in depth about that card to see what it's going to bring to the table. Um, but, I mean, just knowing that Jenga Tassis is there. He's in the story from the web fishing on um, on uh, Magic's website for um, for just the story of Kamigawa. Um, we know Jenga Tassis is here, which means the Phyrexians are here. And I am pretty convinced the Phyrexians want to become Planeswalkers. Or at the very least, they want that ability to Planeswalk and go to other worlds and see what's going on and try to invade. I mean, that's what they do. Te technology, evolve it with their muck and just make it Phyrexian. So it is definitely a thing there. Um, because in the story, without going too into detail, um, they're smuggling off and researching Kami. And really, it seems like they're trying to just understand the, the spirits, but nationality is a plan to bring forth the planeswalkers and bring them out so they can get a hold of them because they want to really experiment on planeswalkers. And, we, and you see that by uh, having the Wanderer, Kaito, and Tamiyo. Tamiyo is in the set. Uh, can't wait to see her card. Um, she should definitely have a card too. Um, they're there and they want to study them. So. I think that's going to be interesting for the story and the plot to see what's going to happen in the future. Um, but it's just something to kind of keep your eye on and, and, and kind of watch. Because also we know that uh, Vorinclex, when he was on Kaldeheim, he got the uh, the elixir from uh, from there, from Asika, and, and nearly or possibly killed her. Um, and that's what the gods use to keep themselves alive and powerful. And they keep them giving them giving them that immortality. So the Phyrexians are seeking immortality. Then they're coming out these comic getting the spirit energy, and then trans transcending that to capturing planeswalkers. They're looking for that that spark. They want the spark. Somebody in the Phyrexians want that spark. <laughs> so we do find out that the Wanderer is the Emperor. Oh my gosh. I love the Wanderer. You know it. Can't wait till her card is revealed. It's gonna be dope. She's really cool in the um, in the web fiction coming out, slicing stuff in half. I uh, just can't wait. I I'm ready for the next chapters on that, so I can kind of get more into that story. Just keep them coming, YC. I am excited for your stories, and I'll read every single one. I wish it was a full on novel. I would be in there buying that book in a heartbeat. Um, but she's there, and her spark is unstable due to Tezzeret. So we do find out that Tezzeret is the one that ignited her spark. Uh, possibly trying to do that whole thing of trying to capture um, her again. I know him and the spirit, her and the spirits, because the emperor is connected to Kyodai, which is the um, the baby creature from that which was taken, or it which was taken. The old Kamigawa card is Ok uh child, and um, she speaks through the empress, and that's how they have the the peace with 
the spirit world and the the human world and so the, the, they could be in peace now rather than having the war that they had over a thousand years ago so but that was all disrupted when Tezzeret came in doing his due uh it set off uh the emperor's spark she planes walk and it's been unstable since which is why she hasn't been back to kamigawa it's been 10 years she's back kaito's been searching for her for the last 10 years he got his spark going around and they've almost pretty much been chasing each other it seems but they're finally here on phyrexia i mean on phyrexia on kamigawa and yeah we're doing some combat um so we're gonna see what that story is gonna take us super excited um i will say the one thing your boy kaito i love him to death he ain't too bright why would you bring a metal sword and technology to fight tesseret it's not going to end well Tezzeret ought to put the hands on, uh, on uh, uh, what is this, Ra uh, Zarek back in Ravnica, and now he had to put his hands on Kaito. Uh, Tezzeret is a, he's a monster. I'm not a big fan of him, but he's a monster. Um, but yeah, so Kaito and the Wanderer, they were childhood friends, and so we got to see that that kind of connection of them coming back and kind of exchanging some some, fan, some friendly banter. So that's really cool. So I'm loving the story, loving the connection. Um, but other than that, I'm excited. I'm ready. Can't wait to the reveal of um, the rest of the set, of the whole set, because technically we were supposed to see a lot already outside of the stuff that Watts has already dropped. Whatever these leaks are, hopefully they stop because the, the ugly images are not that great. Um, I love seeing the information and I love seeing it trickle out because it's kind of just keeping me excited and hyped and something to talk about. Um, but having that ugly image, I don't know. Um, we got to work on that somehow. <laughs> but we're going to get the true reveals. We're going to see some cool stuff in the next uh, few days here. Can't wait to get the true commander set reveal when we actually get to see all the cards in the pre-cons. Because I think that pilot deck is going to be really cool. Um, Watch we'll it give us some more Gundam-like um, vehicles. Because I want to make that deck, you know what I'm saying? And then hopefully we get some really cool samurai when the real set gets to show itself. There's a character called Swift Arms, uh, Swift Arm in the in the story. He's a uh, Kitsune. He's like the head of like the academy uh, for samurai. Man, if he gets a card, it's gonna be dope. I hope it, it looks dope. If it's a cool samurai card, I want to make it. Um, same as I'm hearing that there's going to be a turtle ninja. Another meme that's gonna be interesting. We already have uh, there's there's a leak going around about a ninja who summons a toad. I'm just saying Naruto up in here bringing up the toad frog or Jiraiya. <laughs> I'm heard I heard on both ends. Um, that could be cool that that's a real card. And then I'm hearing about a Moonfolk Samurai, a blue samurai. Yeah, I'm gonna leave y'all there. Cause if he's dope. Look like we cutting people heads off in blue. Keep it, keep it locked, guys. The gathering is in the black.